and our efforts can have an impact on the lake. A major new report is released on the Great Salt Lake as environmentalists rally on Capitol Hill for more action. I'm Ben Winslow on Utah's Capitol Hill. The report was prepared for political leaders who are facing more public pressure to do more to save the lake. There is hope. The report was prepared by the Great Salt Lake strike team made up of state agencies and researchers from Utah State and the University of Utah. It says there's no single solution to save the lake, but it needs silver buckshot in the form of a lot of policies implemented at once. We need to step up our game there and we need to make sure that that conserved water ultimately ends up benefiting and restoring a healthy lake. The Great Salt Lake dropped to its lowest level in recorded history in 2022 as a result of water diversion, drought, and climate change. It presents an ecological crisis for Utah with toxic dust storms and impacts to public health and wildlife. We had a really incredible 2023 water year. Uh, that has bought us some time. The good news is we've got fuller reservoirs and high groundwater levels. That means whatever snowpack we get this year has a better chance of getting to the lake. The salinity in the lake is also healthier. Conservation measures appear to be working. The winter we're in right now showed us we can't count on one year, right? We had three and a half weeks of zero snowfall. Long-term climate trends are not good. The biggest part by far, however, is human water use and human water diversion. And that's an opportunity because that tells us really the future of lake levels is, is really largely in our hands. The report recommends policymakers do more to ensure that water conserved actually gets to the Great Salt Lake. And we're working very closely with them to make sure that we have a solid accounting and have the tools that we need in place to make sure that we know where the water is and are able to track it to where it needs to be. It also recommends lawmakers look at a healthy lake level. Dire plea to the state legislature to do more to save Great Salt Lake. On Wednesday, environmentalists rallied against plans to expand the Inland Port Project. They say it's too close to critical wetlands. The state is choosing to engage in this industrial development on the shores of Great Salt Lake that will destroy up to 50,000 acres of wetlands. It's a sign of increased pressure on elected leaders to do more to save the lake. House Speaker Mike Schultz was even asked about the lake's future this week at a conference on taxes. The Great Salt Lake, uh, we will not let it dry up. The legislative session starts next week and environmentalists are expected to keep the pressure up. A big rally is planned here on Capitol Hill on January 20th. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.